like to ask you both whether you think um, that the office has lost its clout. There is a lot more work being done on the funding level by lawmakers. There's a group of six right now led by Ross Hunter who are developing a, a different type of funding system, I guess partly in response to the lawsuit that says the state needs to put in an extra um, $800 million. The State Board of Education is on fire. Um, they're in a different part of the state every weekend, it seems, talking about curriculum changes, but about accountability. What's left for the superintendent of public instruction? Is your cloud gone, and how do you get it back? Uh, Wait, well, let's see, start? I forgot who was Mr. John Gray. <laughs> okay, um, answer is yes. The cloud has left the office, and it's, been, some has been handed over to the State Board of Education because we had a very weak board of State Board of Education historically in the state. Um, we have uh, taken away some of the budgeting for the WASL has gone into the office um, OFM. Um, we, and, and I'm not, this I'm not putting on Terry at all, but we took early childhood education because it was pieced here, here, and here. We made a separate department for that. Um, so, yeah, I would say it has happened. It has lessened the degree of what OSPI has to do. But I think that part of it is that the legislature has talked to Terry about doing some things with the assessment system and changing it, making it shorter, and that it didn't happen. So they had to pass legislation to force Terry to do that. And, um, yeah, it's, it's been diminished, there's no doubt about it. I would say there's a much increased role for the state superintendent of public instruction. Um, we have state standards. We never had anything like that in the past history of our state. And we design the standards. We um, implement the knowledge about the academic standards in the state. We run the assessment program, which is really the core of the accountability system that we have right now. We do the budget for the entire system of the K-12, as well as the various provisos and programs and education reform, um, the Pacific Science Center, all of that is under the state superintendent. We have a much bigger role and it's gonna evolve into a larger role in curriculum now because we've had to, the state superintendent has, uh, when we passed ed reform, it was leave the districts to the local control of the curriculum. Now, because we've had so many programs and it's been driven by the marketing forces of the publishers, the legislature has asked me to evaluate the math programs and the science programs against our new standards. I've done the K-8 programs in, in, um, the, for the mathematics and will be finished with the high school by this January. I'm a voting member. Years ago, they took the, Buster Brulette used to be the president of the State Board of Education and then all the board members were elected by local boards and they got in a fight of some kind. And so they took Buster's power away. Um, so he was the CEO with no vote and Judy Billings went through that. I'm now a voting member of the State Board of Education and I believe we need a lay board to oversee the work of the executive branch. So they have authority and graduation requirements and the governor appointed about two thirds of the board and the rest, the other five are elected by the local boards and, and I'm a, a member of that and the Professional Educator Standards Board. I think we have a, a fairly fragmented structure that I'd like to get back to um, more um, alignment, but I have a very excellent working relationship. My staff supports the state board and the Professional Educator Standards Board. So I don't, I, you know, the legislators are mad at me when, and we're, have, we're rightfully upset when kids didn't make it when only 52% of the kids were gonna meet the math standard for graduation, and I went to them. They did not come to me, I went to them to talk about how we were gonna resolve that. And we did, they were angry because it didn't work, and I don't blame them, and the buck stops here when you're state superintendent. But we've taken care of the standards in a very excellent way, in spite of all the turmoil. I still got everybody together, we've got better standards, and we're gonna have a better math program in the state. 